here's the bottom line in all of this. You can have a city where you have the most expensive, wonderful ambulance, snowplow, and equipment possible. That doesn't make any difference if you don't have good, skilled employees who really care about the service that they provide. I stopped from the ambulance. I was waiting out there for the ambulance to leave the, the firehouse here. And what, what was really important is the level of skill of the paramedics in that ambulance. And I noticed two of our longtime employees who were sitting there driving that ambulance out of the firehouse. And that's what's so important. In 2013, the leadership of the city of Webster Groves decided to transition the city employees from a 401k style retirement plan to a defined benefit pension plan. In a time when most employers in the private sector are going the other way, the city decided to be different. So we traveled here to talk to some of the employees about that transition, as well as how it has impacted the city since. We are often referred to as a small town in the middle of a big city um, because we have all those characteristics of a small town where people know each other, they care about each other, um, the schools, the churches, the community organizations are all an important part of, of this community. It was senior staff that first brought the concept of loggers to the council and, and nobody just said, oh great, let's jump in. Instead, there was, a, there was a period of conversation, of looking at data, of thinking this through, of lots of good questions, and in the end, there was no opposition. Boss and I started having a conversation shortly after the economic downturn in 2008 and we had employees where in Webster Groves, which is unlike a lot of municipalities, we have a mandatory retirement age of 65. So we had employees, police and fire specifically, who have that mandatory retirement age coming to us and saying, what are you doing? You know, what's happening to us? You're making us leave, but the economy is terrible and our defined contribution plan is now just taken. And what we thought we were going to end up retiring with is now diminished significantly. Employees in Webster Groves and in many places throughout the United States don't know how to invest their money by themselves. And so without reaching out to having someone who is an expert in that, you kind of fall short. And that was our situation with the defined contribution plan here, was that most of our employees didn't know how to invest their money, didn't know who to reach out to, and they didn't know how much money they were going to have upon retirement. They knew how much money we were putting into it and they were putting into it, but they didn't know what they could rely upon when they're getting ready to retire. We actually ask our employees to vote and um, we just wanted to see if they really were as much uh, as interested in converting as we thought they were and 93 percent of our employees voted yes for loggers. We would prefer to have it in a larger program like loggers that is nationally recognized and, and um, we didn't want to just take it internally and, and even though a lot of people like to have that individual control we weren't like that. We also knew that that whole investment risk that the employees individually have, they wouldn't have to have with a defined benefit plan specifically with loggers. And we also knew that loggers was strong because they had internal staff who understood how to invest the money as opposed to entities where they have their own plan and they have employees that they delegate that role to who don't have the skill set for it. So those were all factors that we considered. It truly provides uh, predictability and stability uh, for the future to me. I think the most important thing though is that I know that in a worst case scenario if I'm injured beyond capacity to work or, or worse that uh, you guys are there to provide for my family. You know, um, The defined contribution plan, although we had a pretty good one here, there were people that were dipping into that 
uh, loaning, borrowing from it, and then I don't think they ever get that back. They don't, they're not going to be able to, to rebuild that once they uh, take a chunk of that money out. So now we have a program with you guys that uh, it's very predictable and it's, it's constant, it's measurable, and uh, you can truly plan for the future. It's not going to be the only leg of that retirement, but it does provide the largest chunk that we need so that we know how much more to save. And uh, we can choose our other investments around there and savings around there so that we can have a dignified retirement when we go out of here. It was a huge breath of fresh air to me. Um, prior to uh, getting into the loggers program when we had our defined contribution plan, um, there are a lot of us that didn't really understand what that even involved other than you know, money was put into to an account and based upon market returns and this and that. A lot of us didn't really understand how all that worked, uh, but we did understand what a defined benefit plan was. But it, for me, it's peace of mind. It's knowing that not only myself, but my wife will have a benefit uh, should something happen to me as we get older. And, uh, I always say, well, I'm not an accountant, but I drive a Zamboni for a living. And I've read and have tried to do is to have different streams of income in retirement. And so I had Social Security. Before I would have had a 401 that I would have uh, rolled into an IRA and would have had that stream of income. I still have a 457 that's a voluntary contribution. That'll generate a stream of income for me. But the loggers, like Social Security, it's, it's uh, to find there's a cost of living increase and I don't have to worry about stock market fluctuations with it. So it, it's just uh, peace of mind. Uh, uh, just feel like I have much better financial security with that second stream of income than it's up to me to provide a third if I want to or a fourth, which I'm fortunate because I've been able to do that. But even if I didn't have the other uh, voluntary uh, streams of income that I've set up to have Social Security and a, and a defined benefit. I think for any employee who has run numbers versus, versus what you could get uh, investing the money in a realistic return versus what loggers is paying, it, it was a no-brainer. As a matter of fact, within this last year we've gotten a few police officers who've come to us because we have um, a nice benefit package that they were interested in, but specifically because it did include loggers. And um, their prior employers did not have loggers, and um, we're so fortunate. And we've also had firefighters who are interested in that, of course, too. The loggers program, the defined benefit program, is a real benefit for them to stay here, stay with us. So those really good skilled employees, the ones who provide good service to the community, are here, they see the benefit of loggers, and that's what's so valuable to the community. And again, I'll go back to that ambulance again. You know, if he, I don't know where they were going, but they may pull up in front of somebody's house with that beautiful ambulance, but it's that paramedic's skill that really makes a difference in saving someone's life or taking care of them.